Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we're getting into this bronzy, wet skin vibe. So I'm gonna be reviewing the Patrick Top Major Glow 2.0. We have the setting spray, the all over balm, we have the lip mask, and I'm also gonna be trying his new lipstick in the shade. She's hard to get. So yeah, we're gonna be creating this look. I'm gonna let you guys know my overall thoughts at the end of the video. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in them, please keep on watching. Alrighty, you guys, so brows, I did them off camera just to save time, but I have two videos if you guys want to watch them. I'll link them down below. But I use the Patrick Ta. This is the Shaping Wax in Clear. I'm going to have to get a new one soon because I'm almost out. And I just use the Precisely My Brow Pencil for Benefit in the shade um, number six. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Patrick Ta. This is the She's Juicy. What is this, the lip balm? What do you call this? The softening lip mask in the shade or in the whatever, juicy, I mean, she's juicy. Can I speak today? So I tried this already, because I wanted to test it out. And it smells like, it has this um, peppermint, kind of like minty scent to it. It smells just like the uh, lip glosses he has exactly the same it feels super soft no color to it and very moisturizing I'm gonna apply a little bit of the magic cream from um, Charlotte Tilbury uh, this is just like a little sample that I have I don't feel like bringing out the big jar so I'm also gonna use the Glossier Future Dew just to add that glow from within This is probably getting boring for you guys, but yes, um, Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte in the shade number six. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum, excuse me, foundation in the shade Golden. Alright, so I don't want to add more uh, foundation just because I want a more natural look. I'm going to be mixing the Patrick, not the Patrick, the Pat McGrath um, concealer in the shade M17 with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 7.5. I'm just using the Airbrush Powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Medium 2. And this is the Airbrush, um, not the Airbrush, the Setting Brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to uh, cream bronze with the Fenty Teddy Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. And this is the 115 also from Fenty Beauty. Gonna set my face very lightly with the um, Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation with a focus and the shade Golden with this brush from Mac. I'm sorry, guys, but I was looking online. Apparently, it's discontinued. I'm so angry because this is one of my favorite brushes. Uh, I believe this is the 138. It's just like a domed, very fluffy, pointy type of brush, and I don't understand why they discontinued this brush. They want to get rid of all the good stuff. I'm sure 
you guys know by now, the Hourglass Lighting Ambient Powder in the shade Radiant Light. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that powdery look. I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. I don't know why it's called milk because it doesn't look milky to me, but still. So this is supposed to set your makeup, hydrate your face, act like a glow. So we're gonna see. Ooh, it has a strong scent to it. I would say the mister is beautiful but it's pretty strong, the scent. All right, so this is super dewy. I was not expecting it to be so dewy. Um, yeah, I apply a little too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Radiant Bronzer with my MAC 140 brush. I don't wanna use a matte bronzer because we're going for that super beach bronzy look vibe. Yeah, that spray is intense all right I'm gonna grab the major headlines um, cream take double take cream and powder blush in the shade do we know her this is the peachy one I'm gonna start off with the powder blush first and I'm just using a MAC 137 All right, and I'm just gonna grab the same sponge I was using earlier, and I'm just gonna apply that right on top. Oh, that's really pretty. Just gonna add a little bit of a highlight. This is the MAC Golden Bronze uh, Iridescent Powder. <laughs> Gonna grab the same brush I was using earlier. Just like right here. All right, so here's the, what's this called? The All Over Glow Bomb in shade She's On Vacation. So this is the one that has actual color to it because there's two of these. Look how beautiful. So I was thinking uh, this smells just like the body oils. Amazing. I was just thinking of putting this on my lid to give it like a wet look. So I'm just going to apply this. Like, so. oh yes, honey. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's not sticky. So this is great for that wet eyelid look. If you have problems with using like lip gloss and it's too sticky, this is perfect. I'm just gonna line my lips real quick with this um, liner by MAC. This is Embrace Me. Now I'm gonna grab the Patrick Ta in the shade She's Hard to Get. Ah, oh, that shade is gorgeous. This is a beautiful pink, like it is gorgeous. By the way, I use the uh, Fenty Beauty Mascara Full Frontal. I just have like a little travel size. All right, so let's move on to the body. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I didn't get the brush that comes with it just because I just didn't want to. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this big brush that I have here. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my body. Again, this is the all over glow, whatever it's called. This stuff smells incredible, I will say. I'm gonna set everything with the airbrush setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury.
Alrighty, my love, so this is the final look. I'm loving this bronzy, glowy vibe I got going on. So I want to give you guys my overall thoughts on the product. So starting off with the lip mask, um, this one is She's Juicy. So I absolutely love the smell. It smells just like um, his original lip glosses. Very minty, just refreshing. I love it. <sighs> Somebody's racing outside. Anyways... The uh, formula is super moisturizing, it's very nourishing, so I really like it. However, if um, I were to compare this to the Laneige or Laneige lip mask, I prefer this one over the Patrick Ta. This, if I apply it at night, when I wake up in the morning, it's still on my lips, it still ve uh, feels very moisturized, my lips still look glossy. This, like, it doesn't even last on your lips. Like, if you guys go back to the video while I was applying my makeup, before I put on the lipstick, you guys can tell that this was literally like starting to come off. Like it didn't stay glossy throughout the whole entire uh, makeup application. So if you already have this, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you're a lip balm lover like myself. Like I'm still gonna use this. I still like it, but I'm not like obsessed with it like I am with this one. So hopefully that made sense. So yeah, like I recommend, but not if you already have this. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's all right. It's not like super amazing. Next up, I just want to talk about the lipstick real quick that I'm wearing. This one is in the shade. Um, she's hard to get. Honestly, you guys, if you've been watching uh, my um, last few videos, uh, his lipsticks are just incredible. The formula, they're just super pigmented. Like this shade is just a whole vibe. I don't know who's racing out there. I'm so sorry, you guys. So. Yeah, absolutely love this shade. And then moving on to the mist. This one actually shocks me. So this is the Dewy Milk Mist. And um, again, it's supposed to set your makeup. It's supposed to add a glow. It's supposed to um, refresh in your skin. And it's definitely hydrating. It's very, very refreshing. I love the mister. It's not like, you know, like it doesn't spit at you. The smell though. If you don't like fragrance, if you don't like your makeup to smell at all, like don't get this because it's the scent is strong. It's not overbearing. I personally don't mind it because I'm okay with scents, but I'm just saying like beware of the smell in this bottle. I love how it smells. I'm just, I'm just saying like it's kind of strong, just a little strong, but it's beautiful and. What shocked me is how dewy it, it is. It is very dewy. After I applied my powders, I sprayed it. You guys saw it was so dewy. So this I wouldn't necessarily recommend for somebody that's looking to set their makeup and get like a more natural type of satin matte finish. This is gonna add radiance and glow. So compared to the Tatcha, I just wanna quickly compare. This is obviously way more dewy still. So if you want something a little bit more toned down, get this. Um, but this is definitely way more dewy than like a MAC Fix Plus, like hands down. So just wanted to say that. The last product is, of course, the um, All Over Glow Bomb in the shade She's On Vacation. Absolutely love it. Like, I love, first of all, the smell. It's just so yummy. And look at the glow. Like, it just makes your body look so delicious. I love it, but I quickly want to compare this to his original body oil. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the back of my hand so you guys can see. Okay, so that's it right there. As you guys can see, it's just like an actual oil. And to me, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to rub this in so you guys can see the difference between the two. I should have taken off the lipstick. So that's what that looks like. It feels like an oil, it's very moisturizing. It smells exactly the same as the um at his uh as as his all over glow bomb. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on this side of my hand. So that is that. Difference between the two is this one actually adds a hint of color. So if you want to bronze up your skin or add a little bit of warmth to your skin, this is gonna give you that. This one's pretty much clear. It's pretty much just sheer. Um, in terms of the glow, I do feel like the balm is more glowy. Like even if I were to like rub this in properly, because this has shea butter, I just feel like 
it's a lot more dewy than this one. This one actually absorbs into the body and you just end up with like the little shimmers that it has. So when the light hits you or the sun hits you, you will see all of the shimmers. This is beautiful. But this is just like wet, like glass skin, wet, dewy skin. Absolutely love this. Um, do I think that you need both? I mean, it's up to you. I personally do feel like I need both um, because they give me different vibes. Like, for example, if I'm going to be like swimming or something or I'm going to the beach, I'm probably going to put this one on. Um, and then this one, I'll put this uh, on more if like I'm going out for, let's say like a special occasion, like a wedding or something. And I just want to add more bronze, like to get this, I'll probably use this. Like both of them are amazing, but I don't think that you need both. I just think that it's a preference more on like, do you want a little bit of color and like extra glow? Or do you just want glow with a little bit of shimmer without color? You know what I mean? Like it's just pretty much that. So all in all, I really like his uh, collection. I will say like the lip balm, I'm not crazy about it, but this obsessed, absolutely love the lipstick. And the mist, I, I gotta keep on using it, you know, cause this was my, this was my first time using it, uh, but I really like how glowy it is. I just have to continue to try to see how um, I like it. So I'll let you guys know in a future video if um, I changed my mind or anything like that. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, please check the description box below for all the product information. Follow me on Instagram at simplydianaj, you guys, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, beauties.